All right, yeah, I shouldn't be upstairs for long anyway, so this should be a quickie video. It's mind-bogglingly hot outside, and I'm upstairs, and even yesterday, which was uh, cooler, uh, um, my uh, Zoe Dufour showed up, and um, she was downstairs. I was upstairs cross-stitching, which I'm in the chair. I'm doing it. Oh, God, I love this thing. Anyways, I found my... I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to try to look... Yeah, I, I don't know what it is about bookmarks. I just love making them. Uh, I had to go back to my uh, golden needle. I love it. There's uh, lots of mistakes. I can't give the, uh, give this away. Um, there and there. Whatever. But uh, just, uh, it's, well, it's not the end of the world. I'll do some other ones. It's neat. I hadn't, hadn't done cross stitch in a while. I probably won't be able to see it. But um, here, I started right at that spot here. And you can see how nowhere near as tight as it is uh, everywhere else. It's <laughs> it's so cool. I love the berries. I'll show you where the berries come from. I think I've mentioned it before. When I saw the title of this book, I was like, as if I'm not picking this up. What are you, nuts? Charted peasant designs from Sa Saxon Transylvania. Like, give me a bloody break. <laughs> Oh, you'll see where the Nanguea dragon... I think I may have shown that before, but... Uh, that's where the Nanguea dragon comes from. There's so many designs, man. It, the problem is, is this these scans are just brutal. So I have to really uh, play with it. I've done a lot of these guys, man. There's so many. And um, the cool thing is, is that they... Um, you know, with samplers and so on and so forth. There's, you can see commonalities between cultures and over time. And it's just awesome. Where are you, dragon? You're coming. Uh, I like doing the chicks. Those women on the... Uh, I like doing tons of these things, man. Look at this. Do you not think this looks like uh, nacelles from Star Trek? Freaked me right out, man, when I first saw that. I was like, what the hell? Yep. Yep, oh my gosh. I don't even want to start with this uh, design. I don't know if you can see it. I'll have to watch later. Good one to do, my friends. If you want to uh, keep out evil from your your house, put do that design and pop it in your window. That's all I got to say. Where are you, dragon? Did I go by you? I hope not. Nope. Yep, there's the dragon. There's the Nanguea dragon. <laughs> Let's not call that as if, but you get the idea. Anyways, we're not talking about this. Well, well I guess we are. But um, I went to uh, Fandom 2 for, uh, I was going to go for a walk anyways. I had to go to the pet store to get some uh, cat food. And um, a pl great place on Bank Street called Pet Circus. Um, really nice and pretty good prices considering they're downtown. Um, and, you know, in a small store. Anyways, Rob was like, hey, you want to go for a walk uh, before that? Um, and, uh, well, we work in the same, uh, for the same organization. And uh, I said, actually, I was just about to go. You want to go? And he said, I want to go to Fandom 2, which is not too far from our work, obviously. And um, so off we went. Um, I picked up this magazine, which I'll talk about for a dollar. Okay, it's from 2015. Who, who gives an F? And then I also got um, 65 cents each. They're just lovely looking things. I don't know if you can see. Remember, I'm not looking at the camera. Um, just nice muted looking D10s. I was like, fine. This came in the mail. I, I didn't realize they were this small. I was like, holy shoot. But it's okay. Because they, they're uh, not using them to play cards with. But it's to uh, use as a, you know, if you need, if I want to use cards for placement purposes in some kind of crazy little game. But they're tiny. And I had to assemble them. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that, but that's all right. I'm not, uh, it's not like a, you know what I mean? Like a, whatever. I was like, I, I expected maybe this size, but I'm like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll do it. Now, where are my reading glasses? I may need them. So I picked it up. Not, and then I lost my marbles. I, I was not going to do a video. Um, I just saw this, and it's about War, uh, World and Flames, their Great War series they were doing, and so on and so forth. Then there was somebody else showing how to convert um, uh, extendable, 
sticks or whatever the hell they are. He calls those call them monopods for a one to seventy two scale uh, World War One planes and so on and so forth. Then hold on, I gotta get my reading glasses. Then. Uh, like I said, I saw one picture and I went, oh, I'm going to do like a community tab thing a jig for um, Charles Latour when I saw it because I, I went, oh, yeah, that's like just reminds me so much of what Charles Latour is doing right now. Then um, I saw, well, here's a bit about the Great War uh, thing a jig. You see this uh, larger tank? It fit um, an infantry section in it. Jesus H. Christ. Same model, you know what I mean? Like a, a, an M5, but it's like, holy oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I guess like, oh great. You're, you're sending me to my death in a, you know, fume filled, <laughs> ah, super duper heated, whatever. Thanks a lot. Anyways, I, was, I didn't know anything about uh, uh, Flames of War doing some kind of thing. Or, well, I even called it something else, didn't I? Okay, where am I going to see that? Then I saw this. Hold on. i got to look for it. A lot of parachute. Oh, there, there. there you go. Look at that thing. Whoa, cool. The Austro-Hungarian Peak Case Z2 helicopter observing over the Italian front 1918. Um, I don't, uh, I don't dispute it, that's for sure. There were some amazing things going on. Look at that. I'm not a, never played it, but whoa, they look good. Anyways, it's not about this. Hopefully I'll, I'll find the, um, hold on. Um, oh my God. This, I thought, was a fantasy thing. How to build a Napoleonic invasion balloon. I'm like, what? It was real. This person, like, I'm like, thank God, Napo well, I guess for the Germans, thank God Napoleon wasn't around during World War I. He would have came up with some unbelievable crazy shit, I think. I was just like, what? I didn't believe this. Like, Anyways, to make the bottom out of a Pringles thing. Wow, eh? Now, okay, I saw this, but it's not what I saw first. Hold on. Because when I saw it, I went, well, I'm going to uh, at least do a picture for uh, Charles Latora on my community tab. Darn it. I hope I'll find it. It was a, um, I don't know what the hell size creature it was, but it was on a toad. It just reminded me of a lot of his miniature games he's doing. And I thought he would appreciate it, but I can't find it right now. Well, maybe we will. Anyway, so I wanted to go and, you know, I was going to just do that. And then I went through the magazine a bit more. Because I wanted to look at the dogfight thing. Then my mind flew out the window. Um, yes, and I'm digesting stuff. Trust me, I'm not doing as good of a job as I want to. Uh, this is Peter Jackson. Um, I don't know what scale that is. But they decided to do uh, the Ch uh, Chinook Bayer Diorama. Um, but New Zealand troops, oh, wait until you... Eight, August 8th, 1915, it says. Wait until... I was like, say what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know if you can see. I'm sorry. Um, I, hi. Hi, Chihuahua. Come on, man. What the hell? Jesus. <gasps> oh, my F. I love the universe sometimes. Not all the time, but I, I love it sometimes. Look at this. Jesus. Murphy, mother of God. I stopped here and went, okay, you got to do a video. Look at this. It's like straight out of a movie, for God's sakes. Holy. Sorry, but it just, yeah. The dog fight thing knocked my socks off. Uh, look at this Zeppelin fight over here. I don't know if you can see. Or, sorry, not a Zeppelin. It's a rigid balloon. Um, reconnaissance, you see the guy parachuting out there. Holy F. Took it. Took a sweet time, didn't he? Oh, I've jumped out ages ago. I would have been like, well, plane's coming. I don't have any defenses. What's the point in staying? Jeepers jumping. Oh my god, look at this thing. 
Sopwith Camel comic from a squadron based in Belgium swoops down on a Gotha 5 bomber returning from a raid on London. Whoa! Look, the moon and everything. I don't know if you can see this. This guy's amazing. God, there's some amazing, beautiful people in this universe, isn't there? Um, shoots and ladders. Let me find... Uh, and then this guy, like I said, the biplanes and monopods. Converting, I think, die-cast models, like repainting them a little tiny bit and so on and so forth. Oh my god. Are you telling me I'm not going to find... Um, that would suck a hind tip. No, I it was not this far back, man. There's no way. No, 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 no spells, no. Where the hell are you? I'm gonna have to do, I guess. <laughs> which is bizarre. Like a, an original, which I wanted to do, was uh, a community um, post of the. Damn it! Where are you, you beautiful little frog? With that crazy creature um, on top of you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come here, you. Well, look at it. Oh, no, I already showed you that. World War One UFOs. Jeepers jumping. Oh, well, I'm going to have to go and look. I like this. These shots. Like, look at that, eh? The illusionist. I'm, I'll be honest with you, I admire that type of painting. I'm not a fan of it. If that, or as in I wouldn't, uh, if I had that skill, I wouldn't paint that way. It's not the way I paint. No, can't find it. That's it, uh, I think. Yeah, uh, like I said, I've, um, am I nervous? Am I, yes, I am anxiety ridden about everything. Like even when I go on a plane ride, for God's sakes, people know. Zoe do forward have a good chuckle. She'd be like, "How long have you been pre-packing?" <laughs> I could be like taking a flight two months from now from a place I'm going repeatedly, and I'm still pre-packing to make sure things are going proper. Oh my ass! Oh chihuahua. Anyways, yep. Um, it was a good week. Uh, a reflective week. How's that? Um, what the hell? Are you? I'll try to point it to something a bit better. Hold on here. Here, how's that? There we go. Um, it was a good week in the sense that, um, uh, well, yesterday, uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Sibyl, I shouldn't say his name, um, um, had his 40th birthday yesterday. We went to the colonnade. Oh my God, that pizza place is just... Anyways, we hit it off. Oh, well, he, hit it, he hit it off super duper great uh, with the owner. She's 89, man. She's going to be uh, uh, 90 in just a couple of months. Uh, I looked at it. All three of us were like, huh? Huh? I said, <laughs> if you told me your age, I would have said... Late 60s, early 70s, max. What the F? I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm like going to be 58 at the end of uh, October. I look like I'm 68, for God's sakes. Like, amazing woman. I'm, well, I like tear the shit out of my body, but it was just like amazing. So uh, um, my colleague and uh, her hit it off like there was no tomorrow. He was, oh, they were, it was a good day. Um that bit, but uh, the other colleague I was with said some interesting uh, things about when you f uh, find your passion and about dedication and so on and so forth. It, um, it's got, got me thinking, hopefully the proper way. Um, that's about it, really. I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I've got to, um, like I said, I'm a, you know, obviously I just need to, I know how to do it. Um, I need to... Um, shift uh, uh, f gears and focus and get properly um, respectful towards you, Paul Hederer, and anybody else that pops on up, um, quite frankly, and make sure that um, I'm a good facilitator, a... Um,
I do well. I want to do well on Saturday. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to let you guys down. I don't want to uh, let Paul Hederer down. Uh, this is a big, uh, you may think, oh, what the hell are you talking about? No, for me, this is a big step. Uh, n n not because of like, ooh, ton tons of people may want, none of that. No, no, no. It's because somebody and other people are saying, hey, man, um, uh, we think you can, um, we're giving you, uh, I don't know what, um, I don't know what, what it is. Um, we think you can do this. Uh, we think you, we exp I don't know. It's hard to explain. Uh, am I, I just don't know the words yet. Um, I want to be there. Yep. That's the best way to put it. I want to be there. All righty. Oh, find that flipping article, uh, that picture. I can tell you that much. I so want to show it to Charles Zatora. It When I saw oh my God! I just saw it on the cover. <laughs> Sorry, I would have been looking for that for a freaking dog's age, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Charles the Torah, for God's sakes. Do you see the thing? When I saw this, I went, oh yeah, I just want... Ha, ha, sorry. Oh, I'm going to have a good evening now, I think. I just saw that thing on the left, and I went, oh yeah, that looks so much like Charles the Torah. could just be plopped on his table. No worries. That's it. Oh, my F. Did I enjoy that? Okay, I'm going to go downstairs and cool down. <laughs> see you later.